Hello everyone and welcome to Med4 Care. I am Dr. Erica Astolfi and today I will talk about the weaver fish, a fish that can sting. Let's find out together. For this article we will be tackling about a venomous fish from the family of Trachinidae. The weaver fish, whose scientific name is Trichinus arrhenius, is a saltwater fish better known as spider fish. Its ideal habitat is the Mediterranean Sea, but it is also found in the Black Sea, in the European Atlantic waters, from Scotland to the Canaries, along the coasts of West Africa and in the waters of Chile. It lives in waters deep from 10 to 100 meters depending on the season of the year, in summer it prefers to remain on the surface, to then migrate towards greater depths in winter. The weaver fish lies on sandy or muddy sea floor, even near the rocks, and lives half buried. If you are wondering on how to recognize it, the weaver fish appears elongated, its body is compressed on the sides and can reach 40 centimeters in length. It is grayish yellow in the back area and has diagonal streaks on the sides. The belly is lighter in color than the rest of the body. It is famous for the venom from the spikes in its dorsal fins and gills. What happens if you get stung? You will feel so much pain. Yes, the puncture will bring a lot of pain. The pain will be violent and immediate. A burning and progressive type, the puncture will rapidly radiate to the closest areas from the puncture point. From personal experience, after being punctured in my right foot sole, I felt pain also in the right calf. I could not swim and was rescued from the water. I was trembling, I felt sick, I almost fainted too. The pain, although small compared to the time of puncture, lasted for several days. Is the poison deadly? With one puncture, the weaver fish injects toxic molecules which are protein in nature, including dracotoxin. Histamine and serotonin are also present in the venom mix. Such a complex language if you ask me, but in simple words we can say that the poison that the weaver fish secretes through the venom glands is not a deadly type. Is there a remedy? There is an antidote, but it has only been tried in a few cases, for this reason, it is difficult to find it in the first aid points. So, what should you do? It is important to clean the wound well from any spike fragments. It is advisable to immediately immerse the area in hot water, with a temperature between 37 and 40 degrees, since the toxin is thermolabile and is deactivated by heat. If water is not available, the area can be covered with hot sand. The time factor is fundamental, the sooner we act, the better the chances of success. We avoid the do-it-yourself remedies. I became aware of common habits of extinguishing a cigarette on the puncture area, of urinating on the lesion, of applying latex of euphorbia CE it is highly toxic. Contact your doctor, he or she can prescribe antibiotic and tetanus prophylaxis, cortisone and analgesics, if it deems it appropriate. Prevention is better than cure. To avoid unpleasant contact with the weaver fish, I recommend wearing suitable footwear, such as shoes or rubber sandals, before entering the water. Learning to identify them prevents you from accidentally touch them too. You provoked me so I will eat you. On the other hand, yes, the weaver fish can be eaten. From a nutritional point of view, it has an energy value of around 96 kcal per 100 grams of product. It is a fish product particularly rich in polyunsaturated fats such as omega-3. The main ally for good cardiovascular functioning, and protein. It is excellent in soup, grilled and stewed. We just have to try. Thanks for following, see you in the next video in Med4Care.